ladies and gentlemen, in my state of New Jersey, we had a jump in cases of CV 2,500 in a 24 hour period. And, you know, just like many other locations here in the U.S., it is spreading rapidly here. And The Hill put out uh, an article on this. New Jersey reports nearly 2,500 new CV cases in one day. New Jersey Governor Phil Murphy announced a total of 6,800 CV cases in the state on Thursday, marking an uptick of 2,500 since Wednesday. We've received 2,500 new positive CV test results since yesterday, bringing our state total to 6,876. This includes 436 positive tests. From our mass testing sites, Murphy wrote in a tweet. So we have those testing sites. Well, you know, the drive through ones where you can stay in your car and then somebody will come up and, and test you like the drive through kind of thing. That's what we have set up. We've received 2,492 new positive CV test results since yesterday, bringing the state total to 6,876. This includes 436 positive tests from our mass testing sites. Trump approved a disaster declaration for New Jersey on Wednesday, making more federal funds and aid available as conditions in the state grows worse, according to a local ABC affiliate. Murphy confirmed that 2,492 additional cases from yesterday, 436 of the positive tests came from mass testing sites. New Jersey is expanding its drive-through testing centers for CV throughout the state, but focusing its most significant efforts on the northern part closest to New York City, the epicenter. Two drive-through testing centers opened in the state this week, one in Newark and the other facility is in Passaic County, residents at William Patterson University. Essex County Executive declared that appointments are mandatory to get tested for CV and residents should go to the county's website to complete a screening form and make an appointment. On Wednesday, officials with the CDC said the current outbreak in New York City is just the first wave of local outbreaks that could affect major cities in the coming week. And Shoe Chat, a principal deputy director of the CDC, said it would be surprising if cases did not increase in many parts of the country. We are looking at our flu. So they're basing the spread of CV based on data they already have on how the flu spreads throughout the country. Our respiratory illness that represents at emergency departments across the country, there's a number of areas that are escalating, she said. The numbers in New York are so large that they show up, but we're looking at increases over time and we're really seeing some in a number of places. So that's really significant. That's probably our biggest jump by far in one day, 2,500 new cases in one day. That is definitely the biggest jump that we have seen so far. But the way this thing is going, ladies and gentlemen, 
I would not be surprised if it increases, you know, even further just from what we're seeing. All right, there is a video and I'm going to see if I can play this for you. Let's see here. Oh no, I don't I don't want that. All right, it's just showing a commercial. Okay. But, you know, it's scary when you see those kind of numbers in your state. It, it really is. It, I, I hate seeing that. Okay, here we go. New Jersey Governor Phil Murphy announced a total of more than 6,800 cases of COVID-19 in the state on Thursday, marking an uptick of 2,492 cases since Wednesday. In a tweet, the governor wrote, We've received 2,492 new positive COVID-19 test results since yesterday, bringing our statewide total to 6,876. This includes 436 positive tests from our mass testing sites. President Trump approved a disaster declaration for New Jersey on Wednesday, making more federal funding and aid available as conditions in the state grow worse. Okay. All right, ladies and gentlemen, you know, all I can do is tell each and every one of you to keep your immunity up. It is really critical because it's almost like this thing is racing across the U.S. Now, for a long time, they were talking about New York, California, and Washington State being the worst, but now we're hearing more and more information about how bad it is in Louisiana and also Florida. So it's definitely making its way across the country. But please be safe, everybody. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell, and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.